Good morning boys and girls, welcome back to the ABL reselling channel, I'm Dave Keith. I've got to start today's video with a bit of a confession, I don't know if you can hear around me but it's blowing up in a bit of a gale and it's been raining on and off all night, so with it being a field that we're going to this morning at the Bursco Giant Boost Cell, which is historically my favourite boot cell. It normally gets a bit wet and I've been, to be honest with you, I've been expecting to say it's been cancelled. But I've had an angel on my shoulder <laughs> in the form of JR reselling. He went a little something like this. Stay in bed, Dave. It's cold and wet out there. You simply must come, Dave. It'll be dead cushy. <laughs> So if James can be bothered to get his backside out of bed and drag himself down from Lancaster to go to this boot sale that I've been promoting and recommended to him, then I can damn sure I can drag my ass over there and meet him. <laughs> so that's the plan. So either thank you or up yours, James. <laughs> Only the end of this video will see whether, whether this has been a good idea or not. <laughs> you know I love you, man. Let's get on the road, see what we can find. Okay, so we've landed. Good news, it's not raining. It's still very dark and it's really windy. It's actually on a different field than I'm used to going as well. So uh, I hope James can find us. Let's get in the field. I haven't got much stuff with me this time. Yeah, yeah. I've just seen me cooking cars that small. That's it, yeah. And a woman smashed into another car. And I'm still waiting. I've been waiting nearly two years for me to show her to pay off. Yeah, she got out like that. She went, Look, on my neck, I said, Look at my fucking car and my trailer. Unreal. I think I've seen you last year, haven't I? Yeah, I see you. Yeah, you've yeah. got some good stuff. That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to keep it here. So what are you saying, four each? Yeah. Yeah, go on. I'm not small, am I? Have you any change? Yeah. Car. Oh, 20 quid? 20, no, yeah. I'm not changing 20 quid. Oh, oh my right. God. Hang on, let's see. Hang on. Hang on. I'll come around and I'll just keep holding for you. Yeah, you know? alright, Paul. I'll keep holding for you. You can go buy something else or something else, aren't you? I see, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll keep holding for you. No worries. In fact, hang on. Let me see. Just keep on doing this. I might be able to see. Well, uh, there's that. Ah, here yeah. we are. Here we are. Fire it. Have you got it yet? Yeah. Three yeah. quid. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Good morning, anyway. <laughs> yeah, have a good one, Paul. Oh, Dave, that's the catch-up thing, Absolutely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're blown away. I know. I'm gonna put everything out the boot at ease, yeah? All the clothes. And then I can sort it out then and then everyone can just do what they fancy. Everything's just thrown on. Thank you. 
Probably better on the other side. Should we go on then, Paul? It's very good, mate. Be kosher. Hey, have a kosher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they they are, yeah. yeah. Bitter, isn't it? I'll tell you bitter. Yeah, I'll do 20 quid on these. What's that? I'll do 20 quid on these. Here's one I've just. Yeah, have you got the cable for it? Did it? Is it in the pouch? No. How much have you got on it? Yeah. Uh, ten of each. It works as well, though. You say twenty on there? Yeah, yeah. Hi, hi. Yeah, 
can't it then? Good one, he said. Oh, always, always. Good feeling, mate. Oh, yeah. How much did you got on your PS3? Is it working? Is it working? Oh. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Probably working. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. I know that little about four, but I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a do at that for 20 quid, I think. <laughs> Cheers, my friends. <laughs> We're getting there slowly. Bloody brilliant, them, you know, at night. You know, in your garden there, the old cascade thing, you know. Oh, like a projector type thing. Yeah, but you know what I mean? They're a bit more than what you think they are, you know. Yeah, yeah. quid Vince. Vince, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm a subscriber, I'm not on you. Nice one, cheers. I think we've found a couple of times, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, it's good to see you. You're getting on today. I normally go to Bootle, but I've also come in and changed between the first one. But it's alright, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I proper psyched myself out about it, you know, because it's been pissing it down overnight and and pretty windy. He's just changed from Joe, he's on to you. Have you seen him as well? I spotted you easily with the trolley. That's it, yeah, yeah. Lucky people have trolleys. That's it, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I normally go to Bootle, but this is a bit more relaxed, doesn't it? Have you ever been to the Bootle? I haven't, no, no. But I mean, there's been like, the boot, the aggressive Bootle fans have been like, they've 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 been like,
table, it just goes straight into the booth. People grab yeah, it. Yeah. And even, even before people park up, people are like, the window of the car saying, so yeah. Have you got this? Have you got that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And confused and the packs uh, yeah. drivers are like, <laughs> See, yeah. yeah, the first time booters and that it bricking it. But it's good fun. I mean, I, that's not my style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I uh, suppose it's worth going to the experience. Yeah. Staff there, fantastic. Really fantastic. I know the guy that runs it, Dave's name is. Yeah. Um, a lot, a lot of people out there are great, good, good atmosphere, That's but it. it's just that small minority of people that spoil it. They are really good as well. It's going to happen, it's going to happen any of them. But this is nice and relaxed, I mean, it's not bad, is it? Yeah, it's yeah, I didn't, I didn't realise it would be here. It's the first time I've been to this bit, I just went to the other side, just yeah. instinctively. Ah, like. nice, okay. yeah. but, there you go. Do you, good know, to do you know whether the um, Robins Island one is on the side? I doubt it, but I don't, I'm not sure when that starts. I've been trying to find out. I passed that on the way, so I'll have a look. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'll see you. Yeah, nice one. All the best of you, mate. Take care, pal. How much is it, pal? Yeah, yeah. Very expensive. How much is it? 50. 50 quid. This one is very rare. It's worth one by Steve McQueen. Proper racing, you know, from America. As yeah, well. yeah. Here's a nice bit of kit. It's probably an eight, to be honest. Yeah, yeah raise it. Yeah. Two phones, love. Two pounds each. Is it not a set? No. I'm sorry, I don't set. Is it? Yeah, and that's the additional one. All right, okay. Sorry, all right. What in your maid and one in bedroom, in there? Yeah. Did you say three for the set? Yeah. That's it. Um, what would you say for? <laughs> it's a bloody job breaking out here, isn't it? Is that it? Oh, hang on. Nearly there. Got it. That's a fella. In bag. No, just chuck them in trolley, yeah. Oh, God, the trolley. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for that, lovely. Thank you, love. Have a good day, love. And you. Yeah. <laughs> One with the red nails. <laughs> God love. Oh, windswept. Oh. <laughs> Few pickups today, uh, nothing spectacular, but to be fair, if I'd have stayed in bed, I wouldn't have picked up anything at all. So props to James for pestering me. Well, he didn't pester me, to be honest. He just came down from Lancaster and I wasn't having a more, than, a more northern monkey than this northern monkey showing me up on my own turf. <laughs> so I came down to the uh, the Bursco Giant Moose cell. I actually got caught out a little bit as well. I didn't know, but at this time of year, they have a different site. I mean, it's only about maybe a mile and a half away from the, the site that I used to go to, but that kind of threw the cat amongst the pigeons a little bit very dark when it turned up but like i say got some pickups anyway so all good news let's get it home go through it show you what i've got and tell you how much i'm going to list it for i shall see you in a little while after quite possibly a short nap and we're back in the room now i did start this video by saying i would either end up thanking james or calling him fit to burn now it's got to be said in this instance i didn't actually take my own advice which is if you don't go you'll never know so thank you very much indeed james for kicking me up the arse this morning i really needed it because the weather signed me out overnight not very many pickups today but to be fair it was absolutely bitterly cold and blowing a bloody awful gale as well but it was definitely worth getting out of the house anyway it's probably a good job there's not so much to go through because like a muppet i decided to set the washing machine going and then start filming <laughs> i did tell you i wasn't a professional didn't i <laughs> all right let's get into it let me uh, show you what we've got 
Just watching a bit of car boot crisp while I work. The man is a legend, extremely knowledgeable. You probably already are, but if you're not subscribed to Cookie and the Haydens, definitely, definitely worth your time. Right, let's get rocking and rolling. Total spend today was £61. For that, I picked up seven items. First and probably the pickup of the day. The guy actually did uh, roast his own team and said uh, probably one of the reasons he was struggling is because it was an Everton controller. I'm not into my football at all, so I, I'm just bothered about the margin. I'm not bothered about the teams, if I'm honest. <laughs> Uh, nice PS3. The guy assures me it worked, but obviously you'd take that with a pinch of salt. Considering that it, it obviously we can't test it on site, it is a bit of a gamble. But it's a gamble I'm prepared to take because the listing value on this PS3 bundle with some additional games that I've got in stock already because there's two FIFAs with it. That's not going to turn anybody on, to be honest. I only got one controller. I've got a spare HDMI cable uh, for it. So I'll stick a maybe three or four extra games with it and that'll be getting listed for 75 pound next these are absolutely 100 percent worthwhile checking out i was going to say bolo then but they're not necessarily a bolo there are some of these tapes the mini dvs the certain the certain models of certain brands that can go for crazy money i'm talking so like 70 80 pound for a, for a new pack even individually they'll sell for strong money like 12 to 15 pound each for example so always worth checking the comps these even though it's these are sony premium mini dvs and the brand new packs of five they're not those higher end ones uh, I wish I should have done my prep to be honest to tell you the ones that you should be looking out for but what I will say is check the comps on mini DV tapes particularly new ones even used have value if you bundle them so but check the comps on them every single time so this pack of five brand new Sony mini DV uh, tapes are 60 and 90 depending on whether it's short or long play normally picking these up for very very low amounts of money because quite often people just don't realize what they've got hold of paid up a little bit for these but not too much anyway each pack of these and i've got two packs will be getting listed for 20 pound each it's been a while since i've picked up phone sets but there's still good market for them still selling me supermarkets for in my opinion crazy money but there you go so the second hand market for them is very good when you pick these up check the batteries i mean obviously you can't actually tell whether they whether they'll work or not but make sure the rechargeable batteries are, are present because if you have to replace them they are quite expensive i mean obviously these could well be knackered and i would need to replace them but you stand off a chance if they're there these are the panasonic kxtg 6411e i'll just tell you that for context really because across the board as long as it's a recognized brand i find uh, they they'll, they'll sell pr pretty well and often when people are getting rid of these it's sort of like the, the car boot is the last stop before it goes in the bin so they're selling them pretty cheaply listing value on that twin set is 20 pound next now this was a gamble uh the boot sales around well in fact most boot sales these days or you'll find fake trainers particularly it's absolutely rife there's nothing you can do about them being there because the organizers don't seem to be that bothered anyway so do your due diligence as a rule i won't pick up new trainers for that reason from boot sales but in this instance the people that were selling these they'd only had a couple of pairs out they appeared to be private individuals rather than traders and generally speaking if somebody's going to be selling knockoffs they have a lot of them so anyway for that reason i thought it was worthwhile having a look but even so it was very very dark i could only check if they were genuine or not to a certain degree because of the poor light and all the rest of it kind of thing and to be honest with you i was freezing me bits off so i just wanted to get moving again i'm making excuses i know but anyway it was a gamble is what i'm trying what i'm getting at fortunately the gamble paid off because the these are absolutely kosher these are adidas temper run size nine not significant value relatively speaking is for new trainers but the listing value on these is 40 pounds so i'm doubling up on my investment anyway last couple of items now now these i haven't picked them up for a while because the price tanked on them quite a bit the vhs players the first one is a matsui vx1106 and the second uh, sanyo vhr h802 again the models they're almost irrelevant as long as it's a, a recognized brand for that buyer confidence like i say the price 
I stopped picking these up a while ago because the price tanked on them and it wasn't worth the effort going into packing them and shipping them and all that kind of thing. So if you are prepared to take the risk on picking these up because often they do uh, go knackered, make sure you're paying very, very little for them. It doesn't matter that there's no cables, uh, well, obviously aside from the power cable, there's no cables or remote with these because what I'm told, I've had this confirmed as well from somebody who's most definitely in the know, people that buy VHS players are people that perhaps support people with mental health difficulties because VHS players are a lot easier to operate than uh, like a DVD and the tapes are more resilient than uh, DVDs as well as far as causing damage to them yeah, goes and that kind of thing. So I did pay quite a little for these relatively speaking and they will each be getting listed for £25. Now, just before we get into the turtles, I thought I'd show you this stuff that I picked up yesterday. Uh, yesterday evening, being a Saturday evening, I bobbed into Tesco just to pick up something for my tea. And, of course, while I'm in the supermarket, I'll always have a quick whip round to see if there's any reductions, any retail arbitrage opportunities. And these stood up like a sore thumb to me, which was absolutely tremendous. Because the first, these are Joey, Joey, J-O-I-E. <laughs> Sunset two in one. It's like a bouncer kind of thing. To show you the picture on the side. It just looks like a, a car seat. Well, it's not a car seat, but it looks like uh, just a rocker to me. However, of, of course, I was going to check the comps on it because I saw the reductions label and Tesco had them in at 90 quid. There's no guarantee that that wasn't actually a reduced price as well, to be fair. And they reduced it to 27 pound. So, of course, I was going to check the comps on it. I did check the comps and there are recent recent eBay comps for this item brand spanking new at £140 and I got two of them which was it made me very happy of course it paid for my tea <laughs> and the other ones you get joy these are nitro stroller these are a bit more expensive actually the on clearance I think the stickers on the bottom uh, the clearance price for these was £40 and recent sold comps for these brand new a 75 pound now the nitro strollers were plus postage the comps and to be honest with you i, for I forgot if uh, uh, the sansa were plus or excluding postage but there's so much margin in those i'm really really not fussed whether i have to include the postage or not and the other items were these are uh, smart devices calyx uh, again the brand that Tesco bring in. There's no great effect. I was looking for a bulb for a lamp for my shiny new bedroom. Got looking at these and I saw the re reduced price on them. So again, the three was three pound. That almost certainly would have been a reduced price anyway. Individually, the smart remote control and the smart siren, there's no comps for them and probably not worth picking up. However, together, bundled it's 20 pound a set listing value and the reduced price on those was one pound 13 for the siren and 90p for the remote so if you're nipping it at any supermarket regardless of what it is for a pint of milk or whatever take an extra five ten minutes just whipping around the store looking for reduced labels looking for clearance sections sometimes in some stores they have a little area at the back of the store in a corner with a reduced aisle you guys will be familiar already with your own supermarkets don't be a afraid to go further afield to different supermarkets than you would normally visit just to see if there's any retail arbitrage opportunities. Now stuff like that does happen really really regularly as long as you keep your eyes open. Okie dokie then, totals time. Like I say, total spend today was £61 and for that I got seven items of five sellers. That's it, not six items. Seven items in total. And the total gross listing value for all of those items is £205. Now, of course, that gross figure, there's fees that has to come off that and obviously money to put aside for the tax. But all the valuations that I mentioned there are going to be plus postage. Now, because of my success at the charity shops earlier on in the week, I have got an absolute mountain of listing to do this coming week but i don't mind sometimes the listing gets a bit of a drag but if nobody can see your items nobody's gonna buy them captain obvious strikes again i'm finding more and more in these videos now that people on, on, on my request really people are spotting things that i have missed as i've been going around the boot cells and letting me know in the comments of the videos now i absolutely do not mind at all at all this because this is not necessarily information 
that I would already have. So I love learning new things. The information is absolutely invaluable, obviously, but also as well, it reminds me that I've got to just wake up and keep my eyes open. So that sort of like virtual kick up the arse, just like I got off James this morning to get out and do, or to keep my eyes open, to keep switched on. And that's a way that I benefit greatly from doing these videos and hopefully in turn, from my wins and my failures, uh, you guys are getting some value as well. If you are getting any value, of course, very nice link there, Dave, <laughs> or you've got any kind of enjoyment out of these videos, so please give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel, helps with the algorithms and all that kind of stuff, reaching more people and spreading the love and the joy of reselling. And of course, I'm pretty sure that everybody watching this video now is already subscribed, but if you're not, smash that subscribe button and the notification bell will give you a notification of next time I post a video. Now, over the last week or so, I've seen a big jump in subscribers as well. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, I don't really know why because I'm just doing what I do as I have done for the last 18 months now, I think it is something like that. And every single one of you is really appreciated. I mean, I, I find it extremely flattering and humbling that anybody would watch the videos that I put out. Uh, no more so than people who take the time out of the day when we're at boot sales to come up and say hello and shake me hand and, and have a bit of a chinwag. So that is it's just, it's absolutely fantastic. And, and like I say, really, really humbling. So I really appreciate your support. And I know you say that in every video, but I mean it. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed for watching guys. I've been Dave Keith, you've been amazing. I'll see you in the next one, bye for now.